Why hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle and today I'm going to do a extremely fast tutorial on this effect right here. So I had the shine rays coming from the sky. A lot of people wanted to do that and I had it throughout the edit like as well. I had the CC but I'm not going to show you how to do that today. And I also had it uh, here, I had it there too and I had it come through here as well. So let's just get straight into this tutorial. I have a little example going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all this and I'm just going to bring the same clip in. And I'm going to delete the solid thing just because I can. Okay, so let's go to here and let's split this layer. So he just got a kill. Whoopsies, can't split with Camtasia, remember. Okay, I got to duplicate and trim. Okay, so he just got a kill and he's all happy about it. And we're going to make a new adjustment layer. I'm going to trim this up. Then go to effects and presets and type in shine. So you're going to need trap code shine for this. The majority of you guys will have that. So just put that on your adjustment layer and then you're going to see, if you turn this off, it's just going to be black and you can kind of see the, the gun, but you're still like, what the hell is this? Go to transfer mode, just put that on to add. And now we have a, I wouldn't say nice, but it's an orangey looking thing. So now what we're going to do is just grab this source point and put it in the corner. So now it comes from the sky and you can put it like anywhere around this area where you want. Now put the ray length to like 1.5. You can have it, um, you can keep it at 4 if you want. It just depends how long you want these rays to be. Then what we're going to do is go to colorize, shadows, put this to black. Okay, then go to midtones and we're going to keyframe the midtones. So we'll keep it here for now. And I'm going to go over, let's, oh wait, first I need keyframe. I need to put Twixter on this split layer. So let's just do that quickly. Okay, 59.94. Okay, just change a few settings. Speed, 100, and then to 10. Okay, so we got that down. Now we have these keyframes. It shows up this little midtone thing. I'm pretty sure if you, can if you click on it, you can change it. Oh, wait, no, you just click here, sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to this keyframe, and I'm going to go over, let's say, 80 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now I'm going to change this color. So it's at yellow right now, and that's all the way at the bottom of the grid. So I'm going to change it all the way to a nice pink. So it goes through a lot of colors, as you can tell here. And it looks pretty sweet. Or we could, or we could do a green up to you. I think I might do green because I like green. It's a nice color. Yeah, so we can do green or whatever. Now it looks really sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to trim the layer there. Okay, After Effects is a moment. Trim it. I'll just do the old fashioned way. Go back to your input layer, in point, input point of your um, layer by clicking I and then O to go to the up point. So now what we're going to do is keyframe the shine opacity. Actually, I'm going to go over 30 frames, then keyframe the shine opacity. And then go to your out point of the clip, of the layer, sorry, and then put this to zero. So now it does not make a difference at all whatsoever. We turn it on and off. There's no difference. And then we can just hit U, and we can easy ease the color. So I'm not going to click F9 because I paused my recording. So I'm going to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then don't easy ease this because you don't want that easy ease. It'll just look really odd. Okay, so now if I just go through this quickly. And also you can add CCs to make it look nicer, obviously. And that's really about it. It's a pretty simple effect. There is another method of, of doing it, and it has, um, I'm pretty sure you guys know the threshold method. And um, that, that method looks alright, I guess, but it kind of like, like all the, um, all the midtones are just thicker, and it doesn't look as nice as this. This one's a lot nicer, and looks a lot more natural. So let's just, let's just go through this. That was really loud. Okay, so just go boom, and then some shine and rays. And that's about it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And I want to say one last thing quickly. Just let me go to my channel. And let's let this load up. We are approaching 2,000 subscribers, which is really awesome. We need 45 more. And that's actually really, really sweet, guys. I'm so excited for that. And I have a lot of things planned for that. I'm going to have an editing contest slash GFX contest like I did for my 600 subs. And there might be cash prizes. We will see how it goes down. And also, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a setup video, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.